Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you are new here. So not too long ago, I filmed a video called trying makeup out of my comfort zone. And basically I tried to just use what I had to create a very full glam look. And it was like a black smoky eye. I'll put a card up here if you haven't watched that one yet, but it just inspired me to, you know, go out of my comfort zone more with my videos and, you know, try more looks with color and things like that. So that's kind of how I came up with the topic of today video which is basically just creating a lilac or like purple makeup look for spring lilac is one of my favorite colors like i love that pastel purple lavender lilac color i think it's so pretty and i actually do wear it on my eyes like quite often i'd say but today i just want to do more of like a full face of that really pretty lilac color i think it'll just look so cute for spring and i just want to get out of my comfort zone a little more so yeah let me catch you guys up to speed with kind of what i already put on my face because it was like the boring stuff the not purple stuff i used the undone beauty concealer kind of all over my face and then i used the color pop brow pencil it is the precision brow pencil in brunette or bang in brunette i think and then i use the physicians formula butter bronzer and it's actually right here i am in the shade the light bronzer so i bronzed up my cheeks and now we are here <laughs> so without further ado let's go ahead and move on into the purple makeup look all right so first we are going to start with the blush and like i said i already have some bronzer on if you can tell but for the blush i'm going to be using this m cosmetics serum drop blush in little lilac which is so freaking cute here's a little close-up shot of it very pretty and this you're probably looking at it like oh my gosh this is such like an unwearable color but it actually looks so pretty on so i'm gonna use a brush this is just stained i made sure there's actually no product gonna come off of that i'm just going to kind of this dropper sometimes can be a little difficult but i'm just going to drop some on my cheeks and I'm gonna blend it out with the brush. See, it just gives like the slightest little lilac color to, little lilac color to the cheeks and it just makes your cheeks look so dewy and so pretty and you'd think because this is a serum blush, it would be, you know, pretty sheer, but it's actually very pigmented. All right, so now we have lilac on the cheeks and I am ready to move on to the eyes. And the next purple product that I'm going to use is not really, it's not lilac as you can see, but it's the Tower 28 Beach Please uh, Blush in After Hours. And this is more than just a blush. You can put it on your lips or your eyes as well. And what I'm going to do today is put it on my eyes and kind of use it as like a berry purple base for the eyeshadows to come, but it is still purple, okay? I still would consider this berry like a purple shade. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys in and then put this all over my lids as a base for my eyeshadows. I did this in my spring essentials video, but with the golden hour one, which is like a bright orange and it looks so pretty on the eyes. I'm actually going on a date with my boyfriend later today and I don't wanna redo my makeup, so I hope that this turns out cute. All right, so we got that little wash of berry on the eyes and I think it's time to bring in some more lilac. We need some more of that, you know, lilac color in this look for sure. So I'm going to be using none other than the Lilac You A Lot palette from ColourPop. This just has all the pretty little purple shades. I love this middle row of shimmers so much. These shades are just so pretty. So I'm definitely going to use one of these. I think I'm gonna start though with this one right here just cause it's the most neutral shade in the palette. So I might try to just put that in my crease. So I didn't mention the shade name, but that was in the shade Imagine That. And now I'm gonna use this shade down here, which, oh, not that one. I'm gonna use this shade down here, which is called Zoned Out. And it's more of like a pastel, lighter color, not as much brown in it. And I'm just gonna put that all over my crease as well. Thank you. 
Oh, you know what I was just thinking? I really wish I had a purple mascara for this. I feel like that would look so cool if I had purple eyelashes. Maybe it would be too much. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix the two purples that I just put in my crease under my lash line as well. I think I'm gonna take the shade, the darkest shade in the palette, which is filtered, and I'm gonna focus that on like the outer V of my eyes just to add some depth. Okay, that definitely added more dimension and more purple to the look, but we need some shimmer for sure. So I'm going to take the middle shade, which is fluff. Fluff or fluffy? Fluff? Yeah, fluff. <laughs> this middle shade right here, and I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelids. This is kind of like a blue purple though, so I might mix this in with the one next to it, which is Wake Me, just to add a little bit more of that pinkiness in there. Let me actually take the lightest shade in the palette, which is called Cloud right here. And I'm gonna use that on the inner corners. It might be a little too dark, but just wanna see how that looks. Mm, it's kind of brightening. Just wanna have some little shimmer there. Okay, so this is how the eyes are turning out so far. I think now I'm just gonna put on some mascara. And today I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This was kind of purple. I wish it was actually purple, but it's black. <laughs> Um, but the tube is purple, kind of like pinky purple, but I'm just gonna put some of this on and we will be back for the rest. Okay, so I feel like the blush isn't, like I'm wearing a lot of blush, but I just feel like the, there needs to be more. I don't know what it is. On the apples of my cheeks, I just need more purple. Like a little bit right there. Okay, so next for the lips, I think, again, I'm gonna use this Tower 28 After Hours blush on my lips, but just like a very little bit, just to give them a little berry color. Then I'm going to use the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Mystic. And this is like the only purple lip product I had. I was looking and I was like, surely I have some type of like berry or purple lip, but this was it, I had nothing else, so. I'm just gonna put some of this on. I had to blot the lips a lot because it got real intense real fast, but let me just show you guys, like this can get so intense. Which is good, like I love a berry lip like this for the fall, but for the springtime, I kind of want something a little bit lighter. So I just took like some toilet paper and ever so lightly blotted it. And now I think it's like a really pretty purple color for spring. So to finish it off, I think I'm going to use a little bit of this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in the shade Blossom Glow. And the serum already made my cheeks super, super dewy, but I don't know, I just feel like adding a little bit of this kind of pinky toned highlight would work well. <gasps> this would probably look so pretty in the center of my eyelids too. I think I'm gonna do that. Just to like reflect some light right there. I think that looks so cute. All right guys, this is my all purple look. What do you guys think? I really, really like this. I love wearing purple eyeshadow. So to take that up a notch and also do like a purple cheek, a purple lip and kind of a more intense 
purple eyeshadow than normal just I really really like it I kind of just want to keep going with this whole thing and do my hair and my outfit and I don't know get into like the really spring vibe so I think I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna go get into my spring outfit and do my hair and you know do the full transformation that I think will work really well with this look and I'll be right back all right guys here is the full outfit to go with my lilac purple makeup look i just went with all white because i don't own anything purple which is honestly sad like i really need to get on that because i love the color lilac i just need like a nice purple shirt or something but um i just threw on this little clip and then i threw on this eyelet print midi dress which is from asos i can link it down below for you guys but it's just flowy and super pretty and yeah this was my full face of purple makeup for spring i hope you guys liked this video thank you guys so much for watching and also thank you guys for continuing to push me out of my comfort zone when it comes to makeup and just encouraging me to try new things. I really appreciate it. Sometimes when you think you're going out of your comfort zone, you actually discover things that you really like and I feel, I don't feel like this is out of my comfort zone at all. I think it's so cute and it's just very pretty and perfect for spring. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. <laughs>